Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dark Souls 3. Today we're kicking things off right back in the catacombs. I'm sure we're gonna have Mr. Bodyball pop up soon. Looks like soon means now in this case, so let's hide from it. Hopefully this is far enough to hide. We haven't actually tested this theory out, so... Uh, we are gonna fall... Oh, okay, we're just gonna go down the hole. And we get rats. That's a good start. Some good old-fashioned rats. And true to form, of course they hit us before we hit them. Uh, so I wonder... We're gonna have to keep an eye and an ear out for body balls, because it seems like they're just rolling and doing whatever they want. It seems like I got a big rat or something else. Yeah, big rat. So let's take care of Mr. Big Rat. Oh yeah, we do a lot more damage than what you can do, so have a nice one, you disease-ridden ridden rat pool. Don't see... I see some enemies there. I see a path over here. Uh, and I think there is... yeah, it looks like that may be the necromancer right here, so let's avoid the light. Because we all know what light usually does kills ya. Let's take some more Titanite shards. So, okay. I guess this game is really intending you to... What the hell? Oh, you have some cool moves. We should probably pay some attention to you, right? That's all he wants, is just a little bit of attention. He's really good at dodging. This is, this is a cool little enemy. Oh, hey. Now you hide from me. Okay. Come on. Ah, oh, you bugger. There you go. Have a nice one. Oh, you had an ember on you. That's new. I haven't... I might be wrong on this, but I don't feel like we've had an enemy that had an ember on them beforehand. That's interesting. Because if he had an ember on him... He was probably trying to be a, a, um, I don't know what the title is for it. What we're trying to be. We're trying to, you know, get the Lords of Cinder to their grave, so maybe he was trying to do the same thing at one point. We got a fire gem. And I know there's a gajillion paths that we can go on. We're just choosing the furthest one because, well, because I don't actually have rhyme or reason for it. Hey, there's a guy with a spear down there. Maybe you're our friend. And we're back, you guys. I just wanted to point out, if you see in the distance, those aren't just any regular enemies. No, 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 no. Those be wheel skeletons. So wheel skeletons are in this game. Ain't that just great? That's what you want to... Uh oh <laughs> Wheel skeletons, we got body balls, we got this little jerk that I don't enjoy... Actually, I do really enjoy him, but I think he's a really cool enemy, but I don't like fighting him because, god, he has way too good of AI for dodging. Uh-oh, uh, we need to get the hell out of here to heal. Hey, there we go, maybe, nope. You still, like, this is good AI, like, I really thought we would trap him between the, um, hello, is that? And I got distracted. All right, you guys, and we are back. Hey, and an ember again, so it wasn't no coincidence. Um, you may recall that last time we got a little distracted and died because... Secret Wall? I forget, uh, what Souls game it was that he was talking about, but, uh, Miyazaki was talking about how he wanted these, like, moments of discovery, and for them to be, like, just completely random and just awesome, and that is exactly what that one was. I... I know there was a message, I think. Oh my god. Okay, we should stop talking, apparently. And try fighting. All right, you guys, and we are back. You can tell how much I love these little magic, fantastic guys. Thank you. Have a great day. And you're going to respawn because we haven't got the 
Necromancer. Son of a biscuit. Whatever. This may be a suicide run. We already died once to, um... Uh, and we don't have stamina, so we're probably gonna die. Come on, let's... <laughs> oh, we're just winning this game, hey? Um, there, take that. Have, yeah, you like fire arrows, we like hitting you, so take that. Jeez, that was just a magic, magic area, wasn't it? But we did get some ashes, so that's awesome. And we found that secret path, which is pretty cool. So all said and done, oh my god, is this, uh, where is this? So did that secret path actually do anything for us? I don't think so, did it? No, it just gave us another way of dealing with Mr. Friendly over here. So why would I want to do it that way? Huh. That secret path doesn't seem all that useful, to be honest. Unless this was a secret path, too, and it wasn't a path, but I don't think so. I think we saw a path on here. Either way, we're gonna go on this path, because we're already here. Oh, there we go. That was easy. Uh, did I kill the giant rats? I don't think so. So we're gonna hop down and deal with Mr. Giant Rat. I see another- oh, a crab, look at that! I didn't see him ever before. And a dark gem. And I don't see the body ball coming. Hmm, I am very confused as to what's going on right now, you guys. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, you're dead, though. Okay, so... <clears throat> Interesting. We've got a gajillion things that I don't know why they're happening. We've got this, which takes us... Well, let's go down this one. Why is well, right? What could it hurt? Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Take an amber if I have to, sure. And this is just a cage area, so maybe that opens up and that's a shortcut when we go this way? Who knows? I'm this is a this is a little bit of a maze, this area, but it's really it's really cool actually. But as I was saying before, like a long gajillion times ago, uh Miyazaki wanted these kind of just yeah, like just special moments where you just happen upon them, and that's definitely what happened with that uh, secret path right there. That made me really happy until I uh, died from it. But let's see if we can not die this time. This area looks gorgeous. There we go. And we're gonna be cautious and only hit you once. <laughs> I don't know if that's the bridge creaking. Oh, yellow bug pellet, so lightning resistance? Or acid resistance? May as well find out, right? Boost lightning absorption. The grave wardens of Carthus used these to repel a great sandworm. The worm tumbled into the catacombs and proceeded to dominate its new home in the smoldering lake. Hmm, interesting. Again, smoldering lake, fire lake? Maybe? Oh, we got a hell of a lot of skeletons that are spawning, but it looks like because that was the necromancer for the area that we killed, so we shouldn't have all too bad a time with it. Got this. We can- oh, and there you go, and we opened up a shortcut. So we don't have to deal with Mr. Uh, yells at us and throws stupid little bleed things and craziness. So that's good. I will take that for sure, for sure. Uh, let's see what we got on this side of the world, though. We got a bridge and a path. That bridge just sounds terrifying. <laughs> so 
So let's go this way first, right? Because most people will take the bridge, I'm assuming. But this path seems like it might lead us exactly to where we are. Oh, hey. Are you an enemy? Nope. Looks like you may be a friend. Oh, is this a... Uh, there we go. Oh, it's our hello. friend. We meet again. Have you seen Horus anywhere? Oh, yes, I see. I've searched high and low with no luck. Perhaps he's left the catacombs. Oh, Horus, where have you run off to? Oh, Horus, have you abandoned me? No. What a horrible thought. Hmm. So eventually we get an option for that, so maybe he has. Oh, have you Weird. Or maybe he's dead. So I can go across the scary bridge, which seems like a bad idea, or I can go this way, which seems like it might lead to salvation. So we're gonna choose this way. Because what bridge creaks that much? That just doesn't sound right. Who knows, though? Especially when they give you another path, right? May as well take the path. But, oh, then you have to go back on it. If you want to get back that way, so... Maybe it doesn't break. Who knows? Either way, I know that we want to go forward. So let's go forward and see... Maybe we're going to be fighting a sandworm? Maybe that's the boss of this area? Maybe that's what's right through this door? And if it is, it's going to do lightning damage, so let's just equip these for our own happiness. Uh, yeah, we may as well keep fire bombs, right? They've been useful before. I don't think it'll do much damage, but meh. what you gonna do about it? Uh, we don't have much souls. We've got an all right amount of Estus. Yeah, profuse sweat I don't think does anything against lightning. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. Or maybe this isn't a boss at all. Who knows? Oh. Darn well, looks like it could be. Hmm. This is just a creepy room. I This has to be a boss fight, right? And that means hitting the pots is probably going to cause curse to us. This is... That looks like a door, but it doesn't open or do anything. So, let's find out uh, what on earth we've got going on here. <laughs> okay, well, we can touch the goblet, which we will do eventually, but it doesn't look like we're dying from anything yet. So, we may as well check it out and see what on earth, if we can find out if there's something that's going to kill us. It doesn't look like anything here. Look at these walls, though. They're beautiful. Bootiful, I tell you. Just trying to think if this reminds me of Izalith at all. I don't think so. I don't think it had pillars like this. But who knows for sure. And watch if we go up here. It's going to say locked, right? Nope, it's just not going to let you do a darn thing. <laughs> that works as well. So let's test if these are going to cause curse. Uh, I'm really paranoid, you guys, so I'm gonna break these, and then we're gonna touch that goblet. Uh, I'll skip back to that. <laughs> Alright, you guys, then we're back. I bet that it probably won't do anything, but now we have more visibility if this is a boss fight anyways, and hey, if it helps us out, why not? So let's get our shield on, and let's, uh, have a good day. Cutscene, that's always a good one, right? What is the goblet? Is it a reference to something? Skull on it. So that's good. Hello. Oh, this is... This is perfect. <laughs> this is always what I want to happen when I touch my skull goblet. <laughs> Uh-oh. I don't look happy. Oh. 
this. We are no longer in where we were. I hear something. And you are locked into this area. Oh, this is so cool. Oh, son of a... Oh my god. Hi, Lord Walnir. Okay. Hi. Uh, be my friend, I guess? Like, what do I do to you? How can I... I'm assuming hitting the hands is probably what we want to try to start off with. So let's... Oh my god, we do no damage. Okay, so maybe we're gonna have to hit his face. Do we... Can I even hit his face? It does the same amount of damage. Only now I can't see his hand. So I think aiming for the hand is still gonna be our best bet as of now. Uh, I feel like picking up this item might be a really good idea. Because I don't know exactly what this guy is capable of. Okay, so breaking the gauntlets is a thing that we want to do. If he lets us. Oh, and now there's enemies coming. I don't know what enemies, but something's happening to us. Oh, I see skeletons. Uh, we want to hit this stupid chain, though, I think. There we go, we got two down. So that's really, really hurting him. Which is fantastic, that is the exact way we want to work this. Come on, let's hit this stupid chain, what are you doing to me? Uh oh, uh, okay, we're gonna do a quick heal. But I don't think we're in too bad a position right now. Okay, so we need to hit this. There we go, we got another chain down. And now he's probably not all too happy. We're gonna switch back to the shield. And that killed him. Okay, what's going on now? So did we transport to another land when that happened? Is that what's going on? Weird. This game just got weird. So, like, that looked like it's dark, so is that the abyss? Hmm. Either way, cool boss fight. Um, wasn't too, too hard, but it was pretty fluky that we, uh, cracked that first, um... That first shackle, I honestly, I didn't think that that was gonna do anything more or less to it. I just wanted to attack the hands because they were closer. So, hey, there we go. That fight would have really sucked if you didn't know that because you'd only be doing... We did such little damage to it. Gave us a lot of souls. And we got a bonfire and the goblet's still there. Neat. Uh, I'm gonna go and level up. And we're gonna give that tome, and we'll, uh, we'll read all the descriptions when we get there. How about that? Alright. Let's start off by reading some item descriptions. So, Soul of High Lord Walnir. Lord Walnir of Karthus sentenced countless souls to gruesome deaths, keen to outlive them all. We also picked up the Grave Warden Pyromancy Tome. A Pyromancy Tome of the Grave Warden from the Karthus Catacombs. Give to the Pyromancer Master to learn Black Flame Sorceries. 
High Lord Walner of Carthus succumbed to the abyss, but the pyromancer later became a grave warden and discovered the black flame. Hmm. The black flame. That's a new one. It's not that doesn't sound like the flame of chaos. Uh, we also got this a little earlier, Grave Warden's Ashes, Umbral Ash of the Grave Warden of the Catacombs of Carthus. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. The old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accruements. He ended his days a Grave Warden and carried them still. Accoutrements, sorry, not uh, accruements. Cool. Uh, so let's give that to him first. And then we'll uh, see if anyone... And we'll give the stuff to the handmaid, too. Got lots of stuff to give today. I like it. Uh, We're being pyromancy. so kind. <laughs> uh, let's give you a pyromancy tome, shall we? Accept this. this pyromancy tome is dark and delves into the depths of men where an untouchable flame resides. I cannot comprehend this myself, let alone teach it to you. It is a spell forbidden in the Great Swamp, and nearly everywhere else, too. Only one terribly afflicted or burdened by deep sorrow could begin to understand this. Interesting. Ah, you found a tome in the this spell is akin to bid me even. Do not and that's the same. So, who wants to bet that uh, Madame Dark over here is gonna be the one that can accept this pyromancy tome. Let's uh, let's go see, shall Speak we? I desire, honorable Lord of Hollows. Our Lord and Liege, knowest thou? Of she is hot. A fellow of mine guides her at this moment. For what? Till we meet hmm, again. Oh, hey. I don't know what we're gonna do with that yet. So maybe we find another pyromancer. Maybe he starts devolving over time. Maybe, maybe our sorcerer friend can help us out. Back again, I suppose. I don't mean to mix the I hope you're not. Yeah, again. it doesn't seem like it. Hmm. Interesting. Either way, let's go talk to the handmaid and uh, get some new oh, items that way. How may Gracious, passing fine ash thou hast given. Let this ash bestow nourishment. I only hope these new wares content thee. <laughs> Ashen one, bring with <laughs> it. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, hidden blessing. We didn't have that before. I don't think. Uh, hidden blessing. Holy water blessed by the Queen of Lothric fully restores FP. There's a grave in Lothric that sees no visitors, a dark place where rootless warriors rest. The Queen of Lothric alone cared to wish the poor souls good fortune. Oh, there we go. Wolnir's crown, crown of Wolnir, the Karthus conqueror. Once upon a time, such things were bequeathed judiciously to each of the rightful lords until Wolnir brought them to their knees and ground their crowns to dust. Then the crowns became one and Wolnir the High Lord. So I wonder if this was, uh, like, the crowns they're referencing are from Dark Souls 2, um, like the kingdoms and everything else, or if this is something entirely different. I kind of want to buy this. It costs so much, though, but I feel like this is an item that would be pretty important. Ashen hmm, maybe. <laughs> We will think on that. Uh, I'm going to go talk to everyone else, see if anyone else has anything to say, and we'll be back. Uh, so we have some new stuff that we can make from the soul of High Lord Waldner. We can get the Black Serpent, release undulating black flame that runs along the ground. Pyromancy discovered from the Abyss by High Lord Waldner that inspired the black arts of the Grave Wardens, releasing undulating black flames that trace the ground. Be it sorcery or pyromancy, all techniques that infringe on humanity lead to the same place. That is to say, they all seek a will of their own. That's neat. Uh, and we also have Wolner's Holy Sword, which does take faith, but it does not scale with it. Does physical damage. 
a holy sword eroded by the abyss. When Wolner fell to the abyss, he was gripped by a fear of true darkness and pleaded to the gods for the first time. This holy sword, together with three armlets stripped from the corpses of clerics, gave him some semblance of comfort. Hmm. Wrath of the gods, thrust weapon into earth to emit powerful shockwave. The wrath of those swallowed by the abyss is a thing to be weary of indeed. That looks awesome. I am kind of want that. But we need 15, 15, 13 faith to do it. So four levels into faith. <laughs> uh, there's potential for that. And just popping back here. So I don't know if the game is actually just doing a load during this because it seems like when you run around it would be able to render it if it wanted to. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't render the rest of the environment while you were doing it because Firelink doesn't really have anything that it would need crazy performance. So maybe Firelink does have some lore implication to it as to why you can't get out for certain periods of time. And like you're like transposing through the... through um... Come on. Maybe you're going through, like, time or space, and that's why it takes time. I don't know. It still could very well be just some memory requirement or whatever else. But it is interesting. That's really the only place we've ever seen it. Uh, either way, this is where the uh, Crestfallen Warrior always goes. And look, now we've got this. Hawkward's shield. Let's check this out. Is that his shield? Shield that belonged to Hawkward, a deserter from the Undead Legion. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers does not normally allow for the use of shields. The unique swordsmanship of the Watchers would not allow such a shield, and Hawkward's very possession of it was telltale of his defeat. Hmm. So it seems like he was one of the Abyss Watchers. Now we saw when they were fighting, they were defeating each other to see, like, basically, I'm assuming who was... The most powerful or who was able to take the soul i don't know exactly but clearly uh showing that he was part of the watchers of the abyss uh he was inevitably defeated at one point in time and we don't see his body or anything but i'm thinking that's his sword too so he has gone away and he is not doing well i'm guessing if he's still alive we'll cut back though Hello. So I went back down. The I was checking out the Firekeeper and look at what we've got here. <laughs> Sorry, friend. Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is going to kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Have no fear. There's beauty in death. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream, right? <laughs> of course Patches is in this game. Oh my god, as if that actually paid off. I just wanted to go see on top of the bonfire just for the hell of it to see if there was anything. I thought maybe, you know, maybe the Crestfallen Warrior went up there or something. And we get Patches. Oh my god, this makes me so happy. Right. I'll look after things. By stripping every last trinket off your corpse, you're gonna make some lucky customer very happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's hilarious on several levels. So, easy enough. We can get out the regular way. But I've got so many souls that I really don't want to screw that up. So, let's use that, shall we? <laughs> let's do it in front of him so he knows. Alright, you guys, and we are back. I did a uh, level up so we used our souls. Now let's go uh, say hi to our little friend, Mr. Patches, and uh, see what he does in this game. 
it doesn't push you off anything, at least not yet. Oh. What the? And he's gone, so I wonder, I can probably trigger it again. I am gonna try. I'll let you know if it works. Crap. Oh, I hope we didn't lose him. Uh, I'm gonna try looking for him, and hopefully he's at Firelink or somewhere. I really hope we didn't script the quest line by just using a Homer Bone. Oh, come on. Okay, he's back. Life is good in the world. Ah, oh, you're alive. Now, hold your horses. Let's have a nice talk about this. I'll come clean. I did you wrong. I didn't mean it, though. Not one bit. Y you get these urges running the business and all, and, and I, oh, I, I hate myself for it. I do. You know what I mean. Terrible. But I can see you'll forgive me. You're alive, after all. And that's what counts, right? I will forgive you. You'll probably be oh, good to us later. A wily second chance. I, I knew you'd understand. I, I just knew it. The heart of a lion. A model for the rest of us. A true friend. Forever. <laughs> Unbreakable patches oh, this time. I see you've made Greyrat, the slinking rodent. But he did me a good turn back in Lothric Dungeon. Doubtless I should do something about that little dead. Well, maybe not. Well, I can hardly believe he's still standing. <laughs> uh oh, so that could be oh, interesting. Doubtless well. <laughs> hmm. So I wonder if you're going to try doing something horrible to him. Uh, let's see what you have to sell, though. Shall you? Anything new that we can't get from anyone else? Parrying dagger. Hey! Pure shield, an unusual style of round shield peculiar to the Knights of Katarina. The center of the shield features a large sharpened spike, which is used to skewer opponents. You better not... Oh, no. Distinctively shaped helm worn by Knights of Katarina, often ridiculed for its onion-like shape and fury in the country's proud knights, but the masterfully forged curve design makes it very effective for deflecting blows. If this guy killed our little friend, I am gonna just lose it, so hopefully that's not the case. But, oh, that would not be, uh, that would not be fun. Um, let's read this. Black leather armor. So this is Patch's armor. Black dyed leather armor enables its wearer to hide in the shadows with silent finesse. The wearer of this fine attire was admired by friends and enemies alike, for his skills were unmatched, and his heart was true as gold. As its new owner, you have quite the shoes to fill. <laughs> awesome. And a uh, horse hoof ring. An old ring with a seal depicting a horse's hoof. Boost kick effect. Yes! <laughs> Unbreakable Patches adored this ring, and the feeling that it gave him when he kicked his marks into the depth of treacherous traps, but suffered no shortage of ridicule from his associates for relying so heavily on the tired old trick. But who is the sore here? The horse who knows only to kick, or the fool who approaches the old beast without thought? <laughs> Oh, it's 500 souls or buying it. That's that's more than fine. I am more than fine with buying that for that price. We'll probably never use it, but awesome. Uh, and that means we have to now talk to Garrett or whatever he is and see what he has to say. I'll be right back. Oh, hello, and in one piece. You can keep us. Goodbye. Hmm. Oh, this Doesn't seem like he has anything to say as of yet, so we'll see what Patches decides to end up doing to him. I'm not really all too, too heart set on caring about that guy. He doesn't, of all the NPCs, he's really not one that I've really meh. He's meh so far. Maybe he'll get some cool stuff down the road. But either way, you guys, I think we're going to end it here for today. Um, next time, we're going to go through that door that opened up after we beated Waldner. 
So stay tuned for that next time. If you guys enjoyed the episode, please smash that like button. It is a huge, huge help. Or subscribe if you want to see more. I uh, thank you guys to everyone for paying so much attention to this series. I absolutely love it. Have a great one, and I will see you next time in another episode of Dark Souls 3.